it snagged completely out, like my nipples split in half. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. The first part of this video is going to be about the pros and the cons of having nipple rings and the things that people do not tell you about having your nipple rings pierced and then toward the end of the video i'm going to tell my personal story time on how i ripped my nipple rings out in a freak accident jumping in the shower of course you ask like the person that's gonna pierce your nipples but things that they don't even like completely be completely completely honest about and things that i wish i knew before i got my piercings done the first thing, the pros, I think that they are really, really, really cute and closed, definitely with the itty bitty titty committee. You know, I shan't. So, <laughs> with the itty bitty titty committee, any titties really, right? Something else that I liked about them was whenever you're like in a really professional setting or a place that you don't want to display basically that you have nipple rings, is that you can put band aids over them wear thicker bras or wear something like that so that everybody around you don't know that you have them. I like them that they're a piercing that you can hide and you don't have to keep on display all the time. Wear thicker bras, I did band-aids. Um, I never took my rings out. So I guess that's not really something that I was able to experience but of course you can take them out and switch them. The um, rods come in different shapes and sizes and colors. You can get dicks on your boobs. You can get angel wings on your boobs. You can get flowers on your boobs. Really whatever you want. Something else that I loved about them were... Yeah. Okay, so um, the cons are things that you might want to know about. Um, they take a really, really long time to heal. Um, I had them in for two years. Basically that whenever you're wearing, when you have the nipple rings in, um, they were really painful. First of all, it hurt like utter, total, complete hell to get them done in the first place. The freaking, the blood was so thick. Like the type of blood that came out of it was the type you'll see like dripping off of a freaking scary movie. Nice that makes sense like it was so thick like almost fake it hurt so freaking bad and i think definitely like the second one hurt more than the first one i don't know if it was because i was like already super scared and nervous so of course i was like i knew what it felt like the first time so waiting for it to happen the second time already just was going to be that much more painful but yeah it hurt like all of total hell um one of my friends, she got hers uh, pierced with me at the same time. And she had to like hold my hand. I started crying a little bit. You know, I'm not a biatch or anything. But you know, <laughs> I ain't with it. I had multiple piercings before on my body. And honestly, that one right there was number one when it comes to pain. So, yeah. When you have them, well, definitely for me, they snagged on every little thing. From sheets to covers to blankets to this gonna be at the end of the video in the story to shower uh doors you know getting in and out of those like um they just snagged on everything like, they hurt like so much and with my boobs i did the salt dips or um sea salt soaks every day i think i did them two times a day that did not um pro not proceed it's not the word they didn't help accelerate push forward something they didn't uh help me at all with my um healing process like i said two years in um it still wasn't healed my things my boobs nipples still bled pretty much every day still had little crusties around them like still had pus like all this weird stuff i went to the physician and i got them um checked out it wasn't infected they said it was just took taken forever and ever and ever to heal but goddamn like two years i mean i know they normally said like zero to six months or something but i was going on two years they're not infected it sucked it it sucked it sucked to not get them sucked it sucked to to get them sucked <laughs> it sucked for them to be touched it sucked for me to wear bras it sucked for me to 
even get them looked at, bruh. Like, they hurt so freaking bad. Um, but, 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 I think, I don't know, I think it was just me. I think I came to the realization that I should just leave the piercings alone because I had, for example, my belly button pierced for freaking, like, since I was 16. And I'm 23 now, so, you know, some years, right? Not good at math. But anyway, some years. And that still doesn't, that doesn't pus or bleed or anything, but for sure, yeah. So for sure, like, they just always wanted to, like, reject. Like, for example, I went and had to go get a surgery a little while ago, had to take them out, blah, blah, blah. And I went to go put them back in after the surgery. Maybe a week later, my belly button ring was already closed. So I came to the realization, for the most part, that my body just rejects it. So yours will probably take it differently. So this whole video is not to discourage anybody from getting a nipple piercing. I just wanted to let you know that. This was my experience, you know, I want to be honest on what could happen basically and what happened to me, but they're sexy as hell. I definitely want to get them again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're so cute, but, but, but I did tell myself when I first got them that if at any time I had to take them out by force, uh, unwillingly on purpose on accident whatever the hell if the if the holes ever closed i would never ever ever to the hell no 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 never go back and lay on the table to get them done again like that's how bad they hurt for me but i still think they're really cute and i really think people should get them you know but i'm just telling my experience so to the story because i don't want to make the video too long so to my story um on how one of them came out <sighs> on purpose you know i purposely removed them physically you know unscrew roll out type thing the other one literally snatched out so the whole rod was snatched out of my i was getting in the shower this away and when i jumped in yeah so okay my right one was snatched out and my left one i took out on my own so um yeah, I went to go, I was playing, right, whoever, by the shower. And um, I went to go jump in the shower, like, super duper quick, right, holy bejeebus. And freaking, I moved so quick, wasn't even paying attention to nothing else, just trying to, whatever. And my ring snagged, so the way it came out, I jumped in so fast, I heard, like, the shower door you know, like make like an impact sound, like a little shatter sound, like, you know, they shake back and forth. So I did like, that's how my nipple hit it and snagged onto it, jumped in. And I was like, what the fuck? So like, I heard the shower and all of a sudden it was just like a warm, you know, I was in the water. I still felt like the warmness dripping down from my nipple down to, you know, down that away, down my leg type thing. And... I decided like to hold it. You know, it's your first instinct, right? When something hurts is to hold it. So I freaking did that. And whenever I looked down, my whole hand was just like full of that thick red blood, you know, that I experienced when it got pierced. And I looked down, like, what the fuck? Like, damn, I snagged this shit hella hard this time. So I looked down, the whole ring was gone. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I wanted to cry. I'm like, what the hell? So I have pepperoni nipples, you know, kind of big nipples anyway. So, um... Whenever it snagged completely out, like, my nipples split in half. Kind of. Like, it was, you know, like the nipple. Cool. My nipple, and, like, whenever it snagged out, it kind of, like, busted it, like, outward. Like, if it came straight through, so now it was kind of, like, flappy, like, up, like that. If that makes sense. So, that's my freaking story. And when I look to the right... To see, you know, what the like is the ring completely out or I can't see it, it's covered with blood or what. I freaking looked over to the bathroom floor. The ring literally snatched from the shower door from my nipple across the damn bathroom on the floor across over there somewhere by the damn toilet. I just like a little blood, you know, a little bit of blood drops where it was flying and I guess a couple droplets and a little bit of blood around the ring. And I'm like, what the fuck? So, you know, took my shower still, try to like put it under the water, <laughs> try to rinse it off. It was like stinging and burning so damn bad. So, you know, you just kind of 
put it in like that, like that, like that, and freaking, yeah, so, <laughs> it, yeah, it sucks. So, um, I got out, and I just, I had some Neurosporin with me, I normally keep that, like, in my bag. So, anyway, I put some Neurosporin on it, um, I got some Band-Aids and put that over it, like, in the cross-looking format, so, you know, like, that away, and that away, to keep it kind of pressed in, because I thought it might help to, um, heal, right? And then I put, I think I said I put Neosporin on it, yeah. And then I got some ice and put that on top of it to try to help numb it, because that shit was hurting, like, all of holy hell. So, yeah, that's what happened to me. That's my nipple ring horror story and my pros and cons-ish in my experience. Once again, this video was not to discourage anyone from getting them. Like I said, I think they're sexy as hell. That's why I got them in the first place. A piece of me wants to do it again, but I never will. Might get a little fake ones that I can just suction cup on there or something to wear in certain shirts, but I can't myself go through it again. Like, holy fuck, no. So, anyways... Thanks for watching. I will be putting videos up probably every, probably again, every Wednesday, maybe every Friday. I have to put out an actual schedule. I'll put it down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thanks.